Okay, we're going to work on our pistons a little bit. We're going to put new rings on here. So that means we got to get rid of the old ones. We've got to take the clip out. we use a pick or a screwdriver. And more likely it's going to fly away someplace. So if you put your finger in there so it pokes you, it makes you feel better. Use my screwdriver like I normally do. So it comes up a little bit of an angle. Don't force it too bad. You can reuse them. As long as they're still round, they're usable. See how one's still round? Mm -hmm. Usable. And it's not warped either. If you're cheap, see how one doesn't go all the way through? It does now. So we're going to rehone that so we can make it. A little bit easier for you to put together. Find the gap by running your finger across. There's one of them. The bottom one. Easy to top one first, but. Why make it easy? Floor rings you can wrap them because they're flexible. They don't bend when you do that. If you do that with these, they'll break or they'll stay bent. See how it stays bent? That ring's junk now. Unless you put it back. And it's still flat. It has to be flat. <laughs> if the ring is not flat, it won't seal. Right. That's why you always expand your top rings. Even with your thumbs or with these tools. See now it's still square. It doesn't hurt them. These ones you can just pry up? Yeah. Just bring them up a little bit like that. Get your thumbnail on there, you can just roll it around. Just walk right off. See it works a lot easier when you take the top one off first and take the bottom one. Mm -hmm. There's the gap right there. So you can use your nail like that if you got a nail. Oh, yeah, they got the gap and the expander together. That's stupid. <laughs> See how it wads up? That's bad. You're supposed to stagger that stuff at least 90 degrees. Ah, screw it. Force it out. You only expand the ring so far. <clears throat> if you gotta go to the outside of that, it's, it's way too big. So just wrap it around like that. If you have to force it, you're bending stuff. So these are reusable except for that one I bet. In an emergency. Okay. okay. Now, as long as you keep your thumb over it, it won't hit you in the face or disappear. Make sure your finger is actually over it, though. Gaps up on the top where it's hard to get to. You rotate it around. So you don't have so much overhang. So you can get under it better. So 
So long as your thumb's on top, it won't come up and hit you. Mm -hmm. See how it's still round? So it's still usable. See this one's way over here, the gap. Need to get it closer. They don't always move though. Yeah, see, I was trying to move that one earlier. See how it's dangerous couldn't... if you slip through, it goes right through your thumb. <laughs> So you gotta be careful when you do shit like that. See, it's not just this way, also twisting at the same time, trying to lift it up out of the hole. Mm -hmm. Once it pops up, it pops up. So that's a nice big one. So now you just take all these and lay them across each other, and they should all be about the same. If you find one that's way different, it's bent, it's no good. See how they're pretty equal? Mm -hmm. If you look at them, if they look like they're clamshell like that, to be bent right here, they're no good. They need to be full round. Right. Okay, now this one doesn't just fall out like the last one. There it goes. There we go. Okay, so we're going to hone this out here so the pins go nice and freely. And then we're going to hone the cylinders to, to deglaze them. Then take the rust off that you got in there. <laughs> you got a combination of muck. Rust and unknown oh, yeah. materials in there. So that means we're going to hone it a little bit. That's 500 stone, which is 380 grit, I think. Stopped. Get a tight that guy. Yep. Don't stop halfway through installing your tools. It's not very good. It still works. Right. You already cleaned. So this pushed up against the side of the case and it warps all over the place. That's why they're so far around. Right. Every time the motor goes together, it goes a different thing. So. This one's a little bit worse and it hit a couple more strokes. That's enough. Can't yeah, cut too much. Yeah. So the rings are going to be good, it's all pretty good around there. Just a little spot right here. Mm. Just shooting this spot a little bit. Mm.
These are the 400 and something grit ones. This is our plateau cut. Big cut. I cut the titties off the peaks. Doesn't take much to do that. <laughs> Two strokes. Makes it a lot smoother when you do that. Right. Oh, wow. Noticeable difference in power when you do that too. Mm -hmm. That was the uh, 500 mile break in right there. Painful. <laughs> Literally, that's about what all it is. That's about three to 500 miles of break in they just did there. Okay. Right. This is too big. Yep. Let's be this one. Seems to be the one. crazy when things work the way they should. That's not oh. A real fine finish too. Stopped in the right spot. That's good. Of course, this is kind of thick oil. All right, there we go. Depends on how fit in there like they're supposed to. It's more of a racing fit now than it used to be. Right. Because they're used. They always get nicks and stuff in there where the where the wrist pins are at or the keepers are at retainers. So that's what makes the pins hard to get in and out. Mm -hmm. So I always hold them so you can put the symbol of motor easier. There's no reason to fight this stuff, you don't have to. All right, we'll clean all this up, we'll be back.